Hello everybody, this is Abdullah Ashraf from Self Engineered and in our way of creating the Django clone app we need views and especially class views. Starting today with the list view, let's just get right into it. Enjoy the tutorial. Bye. In order for me to actually see those posts, I need to make a view and to create my view I will just jump into views right here and then I will directly call my I will call the model from here I will just say from the model import post again and then down here we will be using something called generic views and also uh, class views it's much easier for us to work with so in order to do that I will I will call from Django dot views dot generic import and I will open this like this and I will say list view it already knows everything that I wanted anyways so I will come here so it's a class based view so that means I'm gonna call a class and then I will say post list view and inside of here I will, this is a list view that's how you make a dictionary in Python and inside of this I'm gonna give it a query set the query set is just the list of all the posts that we actually made so those two posts is actually my query set so if I go back to my admin those two posts is actually the query set maybe we have 1000 of those later on or maybe 100 or whatsoever it's that's just our query set so we'll just call <coughs> already knows everything that I need query set is equals to post dot dot objects dot all so just call all the objects that I have and then I will say context context object name that will be posts in between two I guess like that and then I'm gonna pass it a template name template name will just be the name of my HTML HTML page or something so that one will be in this tab I didn't create it yet, but I'm going to create it now. Minister slash uh, I'm going I'm gonna call it post list dot like that. I'm going to save it. And now let's create the template. I will go to templates where is templates? Actually, templates is not here, so I'm, I have to create it. So I will go to Insta, then I'll do create new folder, then I'll call it templates. And then inside of templates, I'm going to call this new. I'm going to make another folder, which is called Insta, like that. Just the same name of our project and inside of Insta I'm going to create a file which is an HTML file post list dot HTML and in here is just a simple I'm going to make a simple HTML so I'm just going to call uh, I'm going to call this not not call it what I'm just gonna start making directly so in HTML you can just write doc doc and then hit tab and then it, it will auto generate all of this for you 
and here I'm going to use Django templating format so I will say something like this and then not like this uh, like that then I will see for post in posts then then I will uh, first of all just end the for loop just do end for now come back here and then I'll hit tab I will just make uh, I will put everything that I I have created in just a uh, a p tag all of them so the first one will be the author which is the person who actually created the post which is gonna be post dot author and this author which I will be getting from my models you see author this one. and the other one I'm just going to call the caption I'm just gonna copy that directly and I will go to my HTML this one then I will do another p tag and I will do I will do post dot back caption and I will save this both once I have done all of this now you have noticed something if I actually go to this I don't I don't I didn't render any this page into any URL so I need to attach this page to a URL, a URL that I can go to so I can see all of this but right now I cannot because if I go here then I this should be our my main page if I go to my main page I will just see this but it's not my actual website and my actual posts so I will be going to uh, I'm going to make a URL.py so to make a URL.py I will just come here he's going to be one of with those guys here URL.py mm, like new file I'll call it URL and inside of this file uh, I'm going to say from Django dot URLs import path and also include and then I will come down here and then I will say from from views not views from dot views because it's from the same the same directory import the following I'm making this as uh, opening parentheses because I will be importing multiple stuff later on so postless view postless view is actually this one postless view oops this one okay and postless underscore html yes this is the same name here they have to match and I will go back here and then I will tell it that my app name is Mr. and then I will say URL patterns URL patterns is equal to so I'll make it as a list then I'll say path which is the path that is this going to go to to actually render any page that I want so if I go to the main page which is just 
without any extension, just the name of your website. Uh, that means I'm going to tell it to go to post list view dot as view. This is just a function that I'm calling here like that. And then I will just give it a name equal to I will just call it post underscore list and I will put this here to for me to actually save that then I will save it and what do I mean by this one here so I will just add a comment and say hello call this is going to be if I copy this let me copy this I just want to copy that Control V, yes. If I just go to this URL without any extension, you remember when I go to admin like this, then it will take me to the admin phase. But if I just go to this URL, then it should render my post list view. Let's just get our fingers crossed and run this, and hopefully, we do not get into errors. I will refresh the page. I will refresh the page and it does not work. I think it's I need to go to URLs here. And then I will add the other URL folder right here, which is including the uh, from here I will actually add include. Include. Then I will just add another path here. Then I will say something like this. Then I will say include here. I will say nest uh, slash URLs. Yeah. Nest slash URLs. Am I right? Just check checking stuff out. Yep. I will save that. I will do migration again. If it says no migration detected, in instance slash URLs, there is nothing as no module named in this. So, yeah. Should be insta.urls. I will save that. Then I will come back down here, make migration, and I will run my code. I will go back to code to have exited actually. Come here. Run the server one more time. Go to the page. And finally, you can see, now we are heading somewhere. Abdullah, this is my the username, and here is the first post, and then the second one, and then also post, another post on Instagram. So this is all what I wanted to do for today, and next time we will make this homepage uh, try to make it much more beautiful if I go to Instagram if you haven't followed me already please do so now we'll try and make this homepage looks a little bit more like Instagram homepage okay with all that being said thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you got a lot of uh, value out of it and yeah, thank you so much and goodbye.